It's I love green beans. Is that good? It's so pretty. Look. Green beans. We'll take it. It's one of my faves. My name is Jason Greenbean now. Hey, it's Jay Rowe rocking out with Sun Warrior here at the Vita Vegan Con, the third annual here in Austin, Texas. We're hanging out with armadillos and really amazing vegan people from all over the world. Today is the Vegan Bazaar all day long. There's speakers, there's food vendors, there's taco trucks. There's all kinds of cool vegan swag inside. So we're gonna go inside and check it out and give you the full scoop on the Vegan Bazaar from VVC. So one of the biggest challenges for people transitioning to a plant-based diet is they say it's hard to give up cheese. Well, thanks to Miyoko's Creamery here at the VVC Bazaar, it's never been easier to switch over to healthier vegan cheese. These are artisan plant-based cheeses made up in the Bay Area of California. So delicious. She's got 11 different flavors here. And I'm about to try the garlic and herb. And I'm so excited. Totally heavenly. So apparently the big food trend here in Austin is tacos. There's all kinds of interesting artisan tacos. I just picked up two from the Vegan Noms food truck here at the VVC Bazaar. I've got an avocado queso taco with some fresh sauteed mushrooms, and I've got a miso sweet potato taco, which is a combination I've never tried before. So super excited to dive in, and you know what time it is. We gotta take it to the face. Let's start with sweet potato and miso, here we go. Mmm. What's the sexiest food on earth? The some mangoes, hands down. Hands down. Hands down. After totally. Hard. totally. What would the dish be at your last meal? This is probably a fruit salad. Of all the tropical fruits that I'm still on a mission to try all around the world. Your durian, your jackfruit, your mango, that kind of thing. Labs, one of my favorite vegan cheeses on the planet. They come in these cool packages and they've got a little mini caprese salad with their vegan cheese on top. Now, if you were stranded on a desert island for the rest of your existence and could only bring one food to eat for the rest of time, what would that food be? Mangoes. So I'm at Chicago Vegan Foods, one of my favorite companies. They have vegan marshmallows called dandies. These are awesome if you put them in roasting them over a campfire, if you microwave them, make them into s'mores, or in desperate situations, you can do this. Here's Cheers, my friend. Oh, I missed. So Vita VeganCon isn't just all about the food. It's also about really innovative, creative, compassionate fashion. So they've got really cool t-shirts and apparel and really awesome artisan bags and wallets. So let's walk around and check out some of the creative stuff too. This is made out of recycled materials yes. too? Yes, it's made from 45% recycled plastic so from like water bottles. You know, I got 99 problems. Protein ain't one. Veggie burger, you've been down too long in the remoulade. It's time to get in my bod. date a vegan celebrity, who would it be? Right here. Sexiest fruit and sexiest vegetable. <laughs> um, the mango. So we've had mango as the answer to what's your favorite fruit or what's your last meal gonna be three times already here. I'm thinking we need to do like mango flavored protein shakes. Good to see you. Now Miyoko, yes. let me ask you this. Okay. What is the most innovative way that you've used your cheese in a recipe? Give me something crazy. Something crazy? Yeah. Okay, um, I just had a sundae with an ice cream over there. It's a sharp farmhouse crumble. 
You had an ice cream yeah. sundae with cheese on it. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Who are you? Cheers. Best thing to make on a first date, go. Tacos. Yeah, she took it. Tacos. <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island for the rest of your life. And Avocado. You were... That's what I was going to say. The best food to massage into another person. <laughs> uh, sugar. Sugar. Yo, so we're here at Bolton Creek Cafe, one of the best vegetarian restaurants in Austin. We're about to go inside and get our grub on. Like Mr. Frog here. Yeah. Come on. Breakfast sandwich. Benedict. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so I just got some enchiladas from Golden Penny and they were amazing. Ooh, my life that just Continuing the uh, Tex-Mex theme with the cuisine here in Austin, we've got some yeah. vegan enchiladas about to go down the hatch, some spicy stir-fry noodles, granola salad, we got all kinds of fixings, and it's perfect because my stomach is screaming at me for some good food right now. So we have come to the end of day two of Vita Vegan Con here in Austin, Texas. Had a great meal at Bolden Creek. Tomorrow is day three, a lot of new speakers. Really excited to get some dibs on social media, book writing, photography, all kinds of amazing topics in the vegan world. And I'll see you guys soon. Top of the morning for day three at VVC with Sun Warrior. See you soon.